Welcome to the Grand Japan Renaissance Dam hydroelectric project. Simanya Bakala was the mastermind behind Ethiopia's ambitious hydropower plan. Still under construction and with a $4.8 billion price tag, the Grand Renaissance Dam is at the heart of Ethiopia's bid to become Africa's biggest exporter of power and shore up its economic future. It's a source of pride for many in Ethiopia, but outside the country it's controversial. Bakala's sudden death drew crowds and raised suspicions. Some protesters believe he's been murdered. We will not be silent over the death of a person that we hold in such high regard, and we feel great sorrow for his loss. We are deeply saddened by his death, and we call on the police to investigate and present their results quickly. Bakala was found dead behind the wheel of his car on Thursday morning in a busy area in the heart of the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. Police say he had a bullet wound behind his right ear. Police, uh... Police found a gun by his right hand inside his car. There is information that he was seen around his office at 7.30 this morning. But this is under investigation. Bakala was a popular figure, an engineer and the project manager for the half-completed dam being built on the Blue Nile River. It's expected to more than double the electricity that Ethiopia currently generates, making it the powerhouse for the rest of Africa. But Egypt opposes the dam over fears it will affect the flow of the River Nile, its main source of water. In May, Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia agreed to set up a scientific committee to study the dam's impact. And at a meeting in June, the leaders of Ethiopia and Egypt pledged to work together to settle their differences peacefully. Bakala is the second high-profile figure connected to the dam project to have been found shot dead in just over two months. In May, attackers shot and killed Deep Kamra, the head of Dangote Cement. Ethiopia's Prime Minister joined many others on social media to express his shock at Bakala's death. <laughs> Hundreds of protesters have been marching to vent their anger and their suspicions. Police are still investigating, but many are already drawing their own conclusions. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.